Looking at the discipline of architecture as a field of scientific research, we have observed that architecture has been undergoing a process of extremely radical change since the 1960s. We see notions of self-organizing geometric patterns, often based on principles found in nature, are adapted and tested for architecture. We are developing concepts interdisciplinary, utilize code and scripting on one hand and observation of living organisms on the other. By doing so, we arrive at rule-based typologies. Firstly, bio-inspiration. Secondly, sensoric and the Internet of Things. And thirdly, data, such as climate, traffic or demography, as one component to drive design. Bio-inspiration for us does not mean copying nature as a whole, but examining certain principles, such as functional, geometric or metabolistic, to see where we can utilize those in architecture, urban design and novel habitats for humans. The slime mold, Fusarum polycephalum, for instance, has the ability to find the shortest path as well as an excellent intelligence to distribute nutrition. Furthermore, it computes irregular forms based on regular patterns, and we find this fascinating. Algae and mycelium are two new materials for us, algae for its production of O2 energy and nutrition, and we envisage an architecture where the building skin can add to clean air and extend urban gardening. As architects, the actual design of an integrated intelligent module is the highest priority. The lights we created and developed during the last two years are just one example. To understand more about sensors, Wi-Fi connections and real data integration, we have collaborated with partners such as Telecom Italia and the Fraunhofer Heinrich Hertz Institute. We operate along cybernetic principles and combine them with established architectural practice. I am convinced that the digital cannot be separated from our material world anymore. It is integrated in our physical human bodies, as it is integrated in our buildings, cities and urban infrastructures, as well as in natural organisms that we regard as biological computers.